Hello, Junior Jovers! Hi. How are you feeling? Hopefully good. Hopefully, we're good. Yeah, we're feeling great. We're gonna go grab some coffee and then we'll run right back and get on with the video. See ya. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Megan, what'd you get? I got a grande iced maple pecan latte with cold foam. She's had it three times this week. Three times this week, sis. Go grab it. It's the fall drink from Starbucks. I got a grande iced caramel macchiato with a single shot instead of two because... I like the caramel flavor and I don't like the coffee. The, today is Friday, which is the day we'll be uploading this, and that means that coming up are the... PSATs and SAT. Yep. And are we excited? Debatable. But we're going to answer some frequently asked questions about them to make sure that you are more prepared and feel better about taking the test next week. Yep. Next Wednesday. See you there. Megan, what is the PSAT? The PSAT is basically um, pre-test for the SAT. It's a good standardized test to see where you're at educationally and just good for practicing. Hey, Allie. Yes, Megan. How many times can you take the PSAT? You can take the PSAT once a year. Do you think it'll help students with their SAT if they take the PSAT twice? Yeah, I think it'll help a lot because sophomore year, I know personally, I, I didn't prepare a ton for it. I just took it to get a good idea of what it was gonna be like. And then this year, junior year, I'm preparing a lot more. And also, we're getting closer to the SAT, so I think it's really important to take it twice. Hey, Megan. Yes. When do you get your scores back? Well, you typically always take the PSAT in October, and you will pretty much always get your scores in December. Cool. Hey, Allie, what's the National Merit Scholarship? The National Merit Scholarship is a scholarship available to high school juniors based on their PSAT scores. What can you do with the National Merit Scholarship? You can get scholarship money. Hey Megan, how long is the SAT? The SAT is three hours, so you'll be sitting in a room for three hours. But I believe you do get breaks. And there's an extra 50, 50 minutes, minutes if you choose to do the essay. My suggestion is do the essay. Hey Megan, when is the SAT administered? The SAT is administered January. March, May, June, October, November, and December. Hey Allie, when should I start studying for the SAT? <laughs> Typically, students study for the SAT starting a few months before they take it. Which is a good idea, because the more you study, the more you're gonna memorize the material, and the better you'll be able to take the test. I honestly have no idea what she's doing. Love you, Al. And that's the tea, sis. Mm-hmm. Okay, I feel <gasps> Okay, she get. Hey Megan, how is the SAT scored? The SAT is scored out of 1,600 points. And what was the average in 2017? 1060. We are above average. This is sad, but junior jobbers, I've run out of coffee, which signals the end of our coffee talk. Yeah, we'll see you next week, Friday. Same time, same place. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below for us to see yeah. what we can do better. And tweet us suggestions for next week's episode. The link will be right here. We'll see you guys next time on the Junior Java. Before we go, why not enjoy some bloopers? I can't press <laughs> those people. The oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay, back up, sis.